Hi, Ian Roberts, and welcome to our Laboratory of the Painting Process. The last couple of weeks, we've talked about design-driven paintings and the use of value masses to create that drama or that design. Now, it may be that last week I sent out two weeks ago a second time, and if that happened, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to put it below this video. So if you missed last week, you say, I've seen this before, it's down below. But this, what, what, we'll, what I want to talk about this week is cropping. Because the whole idea of design or value masses is only in relationship to a picture plane, to how, it, how they're bound. I mean, if they're there and there's space all around them, they really have no drama. So in a sense, the four most important lines in your composition or how you're cropping, how you're framing what you're looking at. So I want to start today by looking at three of my figure drawings. Now, I do these just down the road. They're five minute drawings. I don't set the pose. I don't set the lighting. I just go there to practice. And I'm not really that concerned with where the figure is sitting in relationship to the picture plane. But I also want to show you three drawings by Richard Diebenkorn. And here, he's clearly thinking of the figure in relationship to the picture plane. The design and the structure is in relationship to the rectangle. So let's look at two landscapes and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to crop them and I'm going to come in so that we see a bigger drama, greater drama, more use of the value masses, so we're getting a stronger image. So have a look at this. So this is in Provence. And I love this big dark shape against this light and looking into the distance. So really the thing that I like is this with contrasted with the big dark. And so most of this here is not really, to my mind, doing very much. So I'm gonna cut that off so it comes in close to here. And then what I get is the road is coming this way and this isn't really doing anything. The road from here on is taking us in. There's all these grasses here that are sort of not particularly interesting to paint. So I'm going to crop off the bottom to come in close to this line of bushes and vines. So I can see where it sits in space, and it's got a shadow and so on like that, but we're really starting to come in on coming into the place we want. And then I'm going to do something which, you know, you might not do, but I'm just going to show you that you can come down and crop the top of the tree off like that to really push us down into this part of the painting. Now there's no sense of going up into the sky. And then the last thing I would do would just eliminate this light. You could either do that with paint, or it's getting pretty wide now, maybe something like that. And that's the way I'd crop that image. Now you see how dramatic that is in terms of the big value masses and this beautiful shadow and looking into the distance and this little bit of light and interest here compared to that. It's just much richer. And here's a plein air sketch I did of the same scene. Uh, I didn't come over quite so far, I don't think, because it's an 8 by 10 and that was the, that was the size of the, uh, the image. So this is also an image from Provence. And I find I'm naturally taken down the lines of the vine into these beautiful overlaps of this to this to this to this, all the way into the distance there. So my inclination would be get rid of this tree, which just kind of hangs out in space, doesn't really, isn't really attached to anything. I want to come in there. And you could, you could cut it off here, give us a little bit of information on that edge. But my inclination is just to come in right like that. Make sure that I can see that there's a trunk to the tree so I know where it's sitting in space. And then I find I'm left with a lot of space in the foreground that isn't doing very much that's interesting to me. 
most of what I want to have happening is about here back. So by coming in close to this one, again, so I can see where it's sitting on the ground, but those now form the, the pathway into the painting, and this creates a lot of information that I would eliminate most of that so that we don't get hung up down into this corner. I'd probably just take a little bit of that sky out, and then you see what happens is you get this long, long dark leading to this. And I like that sense of contrast between these tight overlaps and these big, and this, well, particularly this big simple shape, or really the repetition of these shapes, and of course these, compared to the more complex area down here. So my inclination would be to crop it right there so that we've got that dark mass and then that's where I would think of taking the painting. And you can see how much more engaging it is in terms of design and value masses by doing that. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, next week I want to talk about form, the actual light and dark of creating form, structure, and uh, have a great week. Get some painting done or some drawing done. And I will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.